I have a delivery. Ta -da. <gasps> oh my goodness. Apple trees. They're way bigger than I thought. Oh, that's exciting. They're so nice. We are pretty much buying almost everything for our orchard. Uh, and most of these are cider trees. So these little guys were just delivered from the Salt Spring Island Apple Company. Um, and they're all cider varieties, which I will go through another time more closely. Um, right now we're just, <laughs> we gotta figure out where to put all of these pretty quick. And there's a couple more. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get these all uh, to the property and planted. Not bad, we managed to fit eight trees into the SUV for this trip. garden and we've got our eight of our new apple trees here uh, and we're trying to figure out where to plant them um, and we've decided that we actually need more space in the garden I think to plant these and several of them are dwarf trees so we're gonna need to keep them fenced uh, so the deer don't eat them which means we need more space so I'll give you a little view of what we're thinking here so this is where the garden fence ends now and that's the far east gate down there. Uh, so we're thinking of adding a whole bunch of fencing just on the other side here, right through there. Uh, in another video I showed that was actually all full of thistle. Chris has cleared all of that. So we're gonna take a look at how much extra space that will give us and use some rope and some posts to kind of lay out a potential new fence line here. So here's the fence line now. We're thinking of adding into here. So you can see we've got the fence here. We're thinking of moving it over to there. We're clearing spots. We're gonna try and dig some holes in all this chaos to put the trees. I've got my trusty blue flags. So I'm trying to put some of those out. Did you find my flag? I found your blue flag. <laughs> Hooray! So I'm thinking right about here. Ooh. So this is our original fence line. We've we're adding this whole area here. You're going to shape this hill, put some terraces down, and we're going to run the fence up where Chris is there. Get it from the other side. So here it goes. Fence is coming out. We're going to move it and see what it looks like. Okay, the middle, middle fence is out. We're removing the posts. We're just kind of scooching this fence around, and there's the hill right here. You can kind of see. We've got markers here showing where all the trees are gonna go. Uh, yeah, there's some really big weedy spots that we're gonna have to get through, so we'll see how far we get. We only have two days, and tomorrow it's supposed to pour rain, so this really opens up everything. Um, the plum trees are gonna be way, way, way down there where the original apple orchard is, and we're gonna move one of the apple trees here right now. Here 
we go, new orchard. Somewhere around this blue flag will be these two here. Two more cider trees. And then over here we also planted the Bramley seedling. Another cider tree. And then over here is the original dwarf Granny Smith that we had. Chris has been busy this morning before I got up making terraces on this hill. This is where we planted the trees yesterday. Calf and potentially some blueberry plants right here. Oh, you're thinking blueberries. <clears throat> what are you thinking on the lower one? This one? Yeah. Path. Oh, this is a path. So the path goes like so. Baby Bell has a nice circle. Mm -hmm. And then from here, I might even slope this up a little bit more, is blueberries coming down here. It won't block anything. Stairs going down here. Path going between the trees. Berry and berry right here, maybe trellising over that. Potentially right there. Beautiful red of Chandler blueberries. I think we'll grow some more of them. Cleared area. Thank you, Bobcat. Back home. And now we have a lot more planting space.